The big story in volleyball, Minnesota sweeping Penn State over the weekend to remain in sole place of first in the Big Ten. And with that, we bring in the senior outside hitter for the Golden Gophers, Dolly Santana. And Dolly, there were 5,535 fans at the Sports Pavilion at your match on Saturday night. Describe, describe what the atmosphere was like. It was it was awesome, you know, just having all that positive energy there for us. It, it, honestly, I can't describe how great it was. The last time you swept Penn State in 2003, it had been 12 years. So what statement did you make to the volleyball world in doing that? You know, I think it kind of shows all the hard work that we put in this season. And I guess that just shows how hard we've prepared ourselves to compete every night. The win avenged an earlier loss to Penn State this year. How much was revenge on the mind of this team? You know, I, I, I don't think we were thinking too much about that. I think we were just trying to come out and compete as hard as we could, point by point. And, you know, whatever happened last time we played them, it, it didn't matter. Saturday night, you know, new teams, every team grows as the season goes on. And so it was just a matter of who was going to come out and compete as hard as they could. Well, it now puts your win streak at 14. The biggest reason for that is what? I would say we've been really consistent on you know, different phases of the game. I would say our, our serve and pass game has become one of our biggest strengths. And so I think just being consistent with that has given us an edge over the other teams, I would say. You're a captain and a senior on this team. How has that been a blessing for you? Oh, it's it's been definitely a big blessing. And I think uh, especially this team this year has allowed me to, to become uh, a, a leader for this team. Uh, and I'm not sure how that really worked out. I think just our relationship uh, as a team, you know, I think we're a lot more united this year than other years. And I think that has allowed me to uh, be a better leader. Well, take me through maybe the off season. Put me there with this team. You guys missed the NCAAs last year, the first time in 16 seasons. How much did that motivate this team? What would I have seen from the Minnesota volleyball team in the off season? Um, you know, I would say the day after we learned that we didn't make the tournament, we were determined that that wasn't going to happen again. And I think we had a conversation first as a team with our coaches and, you know, talked about, hey, we can't let this happen again and we want to be a different team. And so after that, the decision was made that we were going to do whatever it took for us to make sure that this year was the year that we wanted it to be. And when did you know that this year could be different? Um, I guess after putting all the hard work throughout the spring and the summer and preseason, you know, we we could see that change in, in I guess, in our, our culture as a team. And um, I think that's when, you know, the first couple of games, that's when we started realizing, hey, we can do something really good this year. So let's, you know, keep working on it. And we kept improving every day. And so the biggest difference that Hugh McCutcheon has made for you in this program is what? Wow, there's so many things. Uh, I just think he's made such a, uh, a difference I guess like he's changed the culture of this team in so many different ways that you know obviously showing this year and that's something that takes time and I think you know we we understood that and we also understood that it, it was going to take hard work and so we put in all that hard work in the spring and it, helped, it has helped us this season so far. Dolly Santana, thank you for joining us. A team that was picked fifth in the preseason is now in sole possession of first place in the Big Ten and closing in on a title. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much.